Welcome to Second Grade Story Time with Ms. Phillips. Today's story is Firebird, written by Misty Copeland, illustrated by Christopher Myers. Misty Copeland, an unlikely ballerina. Misty discovered ballet when she was 13. At the time, she was living in a motel with her parents and five siblings. Misty was a true prodigy, dancing professionally within a year of her first class, a feat unheard of in the dancing community. She took the ballet world by storm. Joining the American Ballet Theater's studio company in 2000, in 2001, she became a member of the ABT's Corps de Ballet. And in 2007, became the company's second African-American soloist, the first in two decades. In 2015, Misty was promoted to principal dancer, making her the first African-American woman to be promoted in the ABT's 75-year history. She is also a celebrity spokesperson and stage performer. Her memoir is a New York Times bestseller, which is now being adapted into a feature film. This will be the second film made about her. In 2015, she was the focus of the documentary, A Ballerina's Tale. She is toured as a featured dancer for Prince, In 2015, Time Magazine named her one of the 100 most influential people in the world. And she appeared on the cover. Today, you will get to hear Misty's story in the form of her book, Firebird, read by Misty Copeland herself. The space between you and me is longer than forever. You are the sky and clouds and air. Your feet are swift as sunlight, stretching across the skyline like the day-long sun over the horizon. Me? I'm gray as rain, heavy as nap time, low as a storm pressing on rooftops. I could never hope to leap the space between. Darling child, don't you know, you're just where I started. Let the sun shine on your face. Your beginning's just begun. Before the curtain rises, before the spotlight falls, before the fireworks of costumes, before, before it all. I was a dancer just like you, a dreaming, shooting star of a girl with work and worlds ahead. There I am, sweating at the bar, I had a thousand leaps and falls, switching worn out slippers, swift as applause. Even birds must learn to fly. Like me, you'll grow steady in grace, spread an arabesque of wings and climb. Each position, one through five. Stair steps to the sky? That's right. You will soar become a swan, a beauty, a firebird for sure. Soon with the same practice, you'll join me in this dancing dream. In a pot of duh, a music box for two, we will wrap our hearts careful as ribbons on point shoes. We'll make the night sky our starry curtain, the moon our silver spotlight. As we spin across the planets, pirouetting tightly as the curls on our heads. Spinning wishes for new little ones we can't yet imagine. Then they will look to you in wonder. Lighter than air and swift as sunlight, turning over the day and say, the space between you and me is longer than forever. 
and I will show them that forever is not so far away. Dear listener, I was once a little girl searching for my voice, quiet, scared, unique, yet alive and vibrant. I struggled, caught among five siblings, desperate to be noticed. I never felt that I fit in anywhere, not even at home, surrounded by my family. My discovery of movement became my saving grace. When I was introduced to ballet, it was like finding the missing piece to my puzzle. I danced my worries and fears away. The beauty of dance is being a part of something that is all you, from creation to performance. You hold the power of your instrument. That instrument comes in all shapes, sizes, and colors. That instrument is your body, soul, and heart. That instrument is you and me. But when I opened up ballet books, I didn't see myself. I saw an image of what a ballerina should be, and she wasn't me, brown with tendrils sweeping her face. I needed to find me. This book is you and me. I want to expand the idea of beauty and art. Raven Wilkinson, African-American ballerina with the Ballet Ruth de Monte Carlo and other amazing women took my hand and led me. Now it is my turn to lead others. This book is bringing my existence and non-existence as a young girl to life, showing other girls and boys that they're not alone. They too can find their voice, their wings, their missing piece. My hopes are that people will feel empowered to be whatever they want to be, to feel that they have no limits, just endless dreams that are reachable. No matter what that dream is, you have the power to make it come true with hard work and dedication despite what you look like or struggle with. I hope to pave a more definitive path than the one that was there for me, but was just a little too hidden. I want to bring many with me to trace and create an even more vivid road to acceptance of yourself and from others. Join me. Sincerely yours, Misty Copeland. Yeah!